Now today we're going to be talking about five tips to becoming a great pop singer. Tip number one, sing with a straight tone. What do I mean by sing with a straight tone? You don't want to add too much embellishment, too much riffs and runs to the top of your, of your vocal phrase. Maybe a little bit at the end, but not too much. You want to be able to hear the general melody or chord progression in your song, right? So a good example of that is Post Malone's um, Sunflower. We'll be left in the dust unless I'm stuck by her. No, no, some planet. No, you'll never be too much. My bad, my bad. I know I'm messing up lyrics. Sorry, my bad. You're going to find that I mess up a lot of lyrics, but I have the general melody down pat. Now, you could sing that song thousands of ways. With, we'll be left in the dust unless I'm stuck by you. You're my sunflower. Love will never be too much. It's nice. It's pretty. It's jazzy, but it's not pop. Tip number two, dial back on your diction and articulation. Now, I know a lot of vocal trainers are going to be like, oh, what is she talking about? we got to hear what you're saying. Yes, you have to hear what everyone's saying. Just, just don't, you know, drill the diction and the articulation home for every single word. It's more of a stylistic choice. An example I can give you is Rihanna's work. Work, 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 work. See me at the work, 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 work. See me the me da, da, da. Imagine if she sang it like, work, 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 work. See me have to work, 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 work. Trash. Like, nobody wants to hear that. You want enough so that we understand what you're saying, the gist of the word that you're saying, but not too much where it's like over articulate. You find everything that I say useful. And if you do want more, hit me up, slide in my DMs, ah, 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 and send me an email. Whatever way you want to contact me, get at me, and I'll be happy to help. Uh, tip number three, work on your falsetto. Okay, Falsetto, I believe, is key in today's pop market. Um, a lot of the voices right now are no longer belty, uh, chesty type voices or very operatic type voices. It's a very controlled, sweet, soothing sound. A good person from back in the day who really used this was Aaliyah. Ooh, let me know, let me know. For me, I, I trained my voice in the belting. Uh, type style. I spent many years learning how to belt and that's kind of where I live but um, it is if you really want to be a pop singer today it is in your best interest to cultivate your falsetto voice. So Tip number four work on your pharyngeal region voice or something known as vocal twang. A lot of the tones or quality in your voice right now for a lot of the especially female pop singers has that sort of nasally um, very very nasally nerdy <laughs> type of sound. I like to call it the Did I do that? The Steve Urkel type voice. But if you know the reference, look it up. Family Matters, Steve Urkel. It's a very twangy, uh, nasally type sound. And it sits in your mix or your pharyngeal region, which is like in your sinus area, right under your eye, and your nasal cavity. Okay, so if you can learn how to place your voice in that region, while singing your pop lyrics, you'll find that it will have that modern pop um, quality that you are looking for. A person who utilizes this uh, skill set very well is Ariana Grande. This is the part that I say I don't wanna the struggle that I did before. This is the part when I break free because I can't resist it no more. Everything is right up in there. So work on your pharyngeal region or getting your mix a lot stronger. And the last tip that I have for you today, tip number five, is understand and study rap flows, rhythmic rap flows. I don't think, if you listen to pop music today, rap and pop is now intertwined. You kind of have to know how to sing talk or melodically sing your words. It's no longer just singing and rapping is two different things, not anymore. They are now converging, so it is in your best interest to start paying attention to your favorite rappers or the rappers that are doing really well right now. Listen to their rhythmic patterns, how they approach the words, how they break up their syllables, how they ride the beat. 
and you can start implementing that in the way that you sing your pop vocals. And if you listen to like the top pop songs today, they're all using that. Going back to Ariana Grande and Seven Rings. Right? Again, I don't know the words, my bad, but it, it's that rhythmic, that really fast, um, offbeat, triplet type beat. I don't mean to brag, I just put it in the bag, yeah. Na, 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 my bag, yeah. Woo. Right? That's rap. So, the better you get at studying these rappers and studying their cadences and studying their rhythms is the easier it will be for you to sing your pop songs. Okay? Again, if you want to dive more into this and you want to get into techniques for each of these tips, Hit me up, send me a message, follow me, subscribe below. Um, and I'm going to have more videos uh, breaking down vocal techniques, um, how I learn to sing certain songs. And I'm just going to start building my YouTube channel. And I hope that all the information that I give you is useful to you. All right. So if you like this, subscribe, share, like. And again, hit me up if you want some more information. Again, my name is Crystal Chance and I'm from Vocal5. Signing off.